In this video we have a circle and an angle of 140 degrees and we have to find angle X. To solve this problem we need to know a few definitions and rules and the first one will be the definition of a central angle. Here to the right we have the definition and a central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle. So if this angle measures 80 degrees then we can write that angle A OB equals 80 degrees. Now if this is the angle AOB then this is the arc AB. And here we have the following rule. A central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. This means that if the measure of this angle is 80 degrees then the measure of this arc is also 80 degrees. And we write that the measure of the arc AB is also 80 degrees. Now in the circle to the left we have one given angle of 140 degrees then the measure of this angle will be 40 degrees because these two angles are supplementary angles. Then this angle is a central angle because the vertex is at the center of the circle and now we can say that the intercepted arc is also 40 degrees. Now let's add a few letters to this image. So here we will have point A, point B, point C and let the center be O. Then what we have so far is that the angle AOB equals 40 degrees and the arc AB is also 40 degrees. Now to continue with the problem we need one more definition. This is going to be the definition of an inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and the two sides are chords. And now let's see what is the relation between this angle and the intercepted arc. Here we have it and an inscribed angle is one half of its intercepted arc. For example Let's say that the arc AB measures 70 degrees. Then the angle ACB is going to be half of 70 degrees which equals 35 degrees. So again in this image the arc is 70 degrees and this angle is 35 degrees which is half of 70. Now if we go back to the problem we have to solve then this angle X is an inscribed angle because the vertex is on the circle. This angle also intercepts this arc that measures 40 degrees. Now according to this rule this angle will be half of the intercepted arc. So we will write that angle X is one half of the intercepted arc of 40 degrees. Then angle X measures 20 degrees. So we found angle X and now the problem is completed. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.